Hi guys. So welcome to this uh, Wednesday show. So suddenly I have started uh, this uh, web webinars in three days a week. So it was a short announcement. Maybe not everybody is prepared for this, but I had asked your permission to be uh, uh, going live on these days. So there is the arrangement is like uh, uh, for even the Zoom link. I'll I'll try to live stream in this group. But what else we can do is I have given a Zoom link, and uh, you have to come joining that Zoom link so that we can be in Zoom, and we can. I can share the PPTs that I have. Otherwise, I need to. I'll be talking here only. So webinars will require a PPT in which you have some something to see, uh, to visualize or understand properly. So I would like you people to be part of that. So because. Uh, nobody joined the webinar today so i thought i'll be doing a live here so if you people are watching live then please uh, type hashtag uh, live and if you are uh, watching a replay then please type hashtag replay and my kind request is to write some takeaways just uh, liking the video will not be enough i'll need your feedback on whatever I am talking here. So um, my life has been uh, see why I am offering this kind of solution is you go through a lot of complexities in life and then you find a simple solution to a huge problem in your life. How do you feel? That has been my experience in life. It was a tremendously complicated life with lot of struggles and all. But at the end of it, I found a simple solution. Then I tried applying that simple solution to other problems that have come to me. Why problems come? Those are challenges which are teachers, you know. We learn from that. We cannot be uh, opening the possibility of a great win if we don't have a mistake or a failure, which are learning of course. So that is a beautiful journey, that is supposed to be a beautiful journey and when you realize that, while you are in complexity, you are not going to realize that it is a beautiful journey. When you are there, then on the hindsight, looking back, you'll realize that all those experiences have been hugely impactful and like say has given you some kind of experience which you can pass to another generation. Because the same many people will be in the same journey, repeating the same mistakes because of lack of some kind of understanding that that lack I used to have. So three things. The first thing is when people say something negative, it is coming from their perception, their perception of you. Like I tell you uh, in the childhood, I was very scared of insects, you know. So, I took science and biology was one of the subject. And you know, I, I was given a cockroach, you know. What do you think would have been my reaction to that? I was not, like say somehow I was managing to sit in front of that cockroach because that cockroach had to be you know, uh, cut into pieces to find out what is its digestive system. My God, how I had to 
takes that. So I was not able to touch the cockroach at all. But I wouldn't also show that I was scared. Then I was somehow I was managing my composer. And because I was managing my composer, some the lab assistant thought that I was very proud. Why you know? There are two things interconnected. That time I was wearing a sari, even when I was in plus two, like say just two years into college. And uh, I think that sari was looking great on me. And uh, she wanted to compliment, but I couldn't understand. I just gave her a blank face so that was the initiation of why she thought that I was very proud and in addition to that my reaction to the cockroach also was adding to that story so now that is her perception right so when she um, reported to the professor she was telling that uh, she is a very proud kind of girl and uh, so so that's why this uh, this was I, I don't remember what was happening but this is something I remember you know so what do you say to this this is a perception right perception of other people and it had great impact on me so much so that I remember that even today now when I remember what effect it like say why should I remember that you know so, but when I am connecting the dots I know several such instances happened I was scared basically so that uh, is one realization when people will perceive and pass on a comment which you are not how do you handle that so the first thing is, is to handle self. The second thing is to handle people. And the third thing is the best way to handle both you, yourself and people is to handle time. So how do you utilize your time? You, How do you utilize say a college, college student that fellow whatever he or she has to do like say in studies in skills in uh, doing something in which the college get benefited her class gets benefits all students her uh, friends are getting benefited something like that I used to write uh, um, I used to do a lot of essays article writing that time so it was it appears completely surprising to me but that is what I enjoyed. So a creative went to yourself. So that is how you build you like say I have built my capability in writing. But but what if you if you take all those things like say the comments then it also impacts you but there is a systematic way to vent your feelings so that you are not going to get affected by all this so that is, that is the third thing right so in order to do this how it is not a very easy thing either but the day you realize that basically all the problems stem from all these realizations these three realizations you are done you will manage to uh, you will now control your thoughts and uh, everything and you know that uh, sometimes when you are getting any negative feedback it is coming from those people perception because that they their perception also comes from experience the same way my experience comes your experience comes and like that so not to be worried about all those so what I do is I help so when people get a negative thing so when you start your life you know you you are impressionable till seven years of your age no control 
if the parents are not consciously parenting you then there will be even even when they are very consciously parenting you also this the environment is such that you will get into something that needs to be removed uh, from time to time but that is a thing of the past now going forward we need to do what we need to be conscious of all that so when somebody is starting out a fresher he has uh, been in high enthusiastic but by the time he or she has uh, 6 to 10 years of experience that is the most difficult time when he has become a bit senior but he is not treated for his actual value actual worth and these people are normally very potential and normally they have a very different kind of mindset they have their own opinion when these happen people try not to not to entertain them and they kind of suppress this kind of attitude this kind of inquisitiveness because it comes with a tinge of rebelliousness you know because when you are asking lot of questions you are trying to know and you are trying to know what is what then um, you are not conforming to anything but just because you just because your boss is saying some senior is saying you are not going to take it right that is when the problem comes and people get stuck because other people have the power to stop you and that has been my experience when i started and the problem starts from there only if we know how to handle that problem that stage then we will not have any problem going forward lot of energy gets wasted at that stage right so i help in those people in making the most of it whenever i approach those people they are either very angry very sad or uh, say very reactive these are the indicators of people who are very potential but uh, not going anywhere when i say they think that this has been their problem like say problem with the boss is the only problem they think they that they have or problem with the peers is the only problem that they have but where this problem what mindset this problem comes from they are not they don't allow themselves to probe into that they don't allow anybody to do that that is the most dangerous kind of reaction one can have and i help you there so this is all for today i'll i'll continue this uh, discussion tomorrow and uh, if you have some questions please be prepared for it and let me know so that we can handle it in the live tomorrow so thank you for being here and uh, watching so i'll be waiting for your reactions thank you for watching thank you